All right. Welcome to the Make Our Mafia podcast episode two, or MCM podcast for sure, MC, MCMP, I guess would be technically the shortest way. I'm your host with the most. I'm the Sharkopath, a.k.a. Logan, and we got the full crew today, uh, minus JC for a second. Um, but yeah, so if you guys want to, uh, if you guys want to uh, go down the list and introduce yourself, uh, of course, we have uh sinful and fluffy they're here last time of course they'll say hey and then uh we got saying and mr jt with us so guys go ahead say hey. jt's chair yes <laughs> chair string <laughs> yes so uh so hey! we'll, go you. we'll go sinful jt now he's easier let's get a good intro there <sighs> perfect what's up uh so in case you missed one um about that guy that guy right there this guy FJT. right here fjt this is me. That's yeah. my entire <laughs> intro right there. It's all I need. I'm, I'm, I'm buying the shirt. I'm going to own the shirt that says it. <laughs> um, so I'm pretty much just the absolute troll of the group, and that's about all you need to know. So we'll pass sure. it on. Sure. <laughs> hey, everyone. So I uh, I do stream, believe it or not. It's rare. I'm actually moving more <laughs> into a world where I have internet that's going to allow me to stream more, uh, much more of a late night streamer. Probably going to be more in the sports, sporting world games, or Halo when it comes out. Love shooters and sports. Yeah. Those are my, those are my two key things. And we got an interesting challenge coming up that we'll talk about later. On to the next one. All right. Hey, uh, Jiu Jitsu Saiyan. I'm a full time martial artist that streams at night. I uh, play a lot of shooter games, but a lot of RPGs too. That's about all I got. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I'm not in my normal setup, but yeah, it's me, Fluffy. Um, I'm really just the comedic fat guy in the group, I guess. I'm the <laughs> newest one. <laughs> I'm still finding out my position here. I don't know why these guys keep me around. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's a quick rundown of the group. This is like initially the true Mid Car Mafia crew here, which is really cool to have everybody here finally and everything. Uh, of course, Fluffy said he's on his normal setup. He's on vacation down in Florida, right? Uh, Florida, Florida, Georgia, Florida. one of the two. Florida. Okay, no, yeah, somewhere with an ocean. Georgia. I remember you said Georgia trip was coming up. But I thought that was like next month or something. Yeah, that's the uh, last weekend of October because I'm going to Anime Week in Atlanta. So that's if right. you know anyone's there and wants to come out and say hi, you know I'm not that's awesome. cool enough for people to want autographs but yeah you, know, you know it's available <laughs> <laughs> all right so um so we'll get into this real quick uh because i know jt's on a limited time schedule here he's got uh some things to do with family um so we did our mid car mafia video game challenge uh this past weekend and mr jt came out victorious in the scavenger hunt Asshole. uh so <laughs> So I've got to ask, what did you guys think of the scavenger hunt? Did you guys like it? Did you guys didn't? Like, what was your opinions and thoughts on it? I'm curious. Well, with me being the winner, I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> Third on top, stay on top. Um, I feel like no, his head's going to be a lot bigger than sharks. And shark. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was. It was a lot of fun. It was a challenge. I mean, the hundred hundred things we had to find. The biggest surprise of all is nobody played Grand Theft Auto. Literally half the challenges I got were in Grand Theft Auto. Um, it, was, yeah. it was a lot closer was than I anticipated. Games. I would definitely say that. Simple <laughs> started off hot. I thought he was going to run away with it. Fortunate for me, like I said, once I got things, you know, finally loaded in Grand Theft Auto, I was able to get rolling in that and literally knock out most of my challenges. But I think I ended up with like 56 or something like that. It yeah, 56 to 58, something like that. In like three and a half hours. It was crazy. And I'll, I'll, give, I'll, let, some, I'll let some other people speak to it as well. I was stressed the entire <laughs> fucking time. And I thought that I had what I needed. No. And the super specificness also fucked me because yeah. 90% of my games don't have a grenade launcher. And, <laughs> and some other things. Yeah, it was. It was uh, I actually had to download Quake to get that one. Yeah. In the middle Why? Of it. Why? <laughs> Bro, Rogue Company has Dima. That's your D character Bro, and your grenade launcher. I, I didn't have Rogue yep. Company installed. Rogue Company uh, would oh, not man. work for me, and I tried. 
Yeah, for some reason they kept crashing on you. I remember seeing. Like oh. I, I had fun with it. Uh, I knew I wasn't gonna be able to hang around the full time. Oh fuck! Just because of my schedule. So I, I kind of my plan was just to go in, hit hard. I already had. I think I was the only one that used my strategy, which was I had multiple games up at the same time, mm -hmm. and I just alt tabbed over to multiple games. Um, so I was able to put a lot of challenges down quick. But my whole thing was I just wanted to put pressure on everyone else to try to rush through things because I knew mm -hmm. I wasn't going to be able to hold it out with them having that extra hour at the end. In um, my defense, I did try the alt tab thing and we saw it absolutely shit my computer. Yeah. Because <laughs> like Rocket League, like hyper focus on like the top left corner and all I could see was like a chat box. Mm -hmm. Fucking... I don't even know. Xperia yeah, did not like that. I will have to say, Simple's thing did work because I was stressed like from the beginning. <laughs> like we started going yeah. through, I was like, "Holy crap!" But I think I was able to settle in once I started looking at it, and then like so I, I took the list and then I move, I moved shit <laughs> over to the left and the right, so I could, so I could be like, "Okay, I can, I know in this game I can do this, 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 and this." So it stopped me from having to scroll up and down the list trying to find it. So I think that was a big part of it for me was being able to carpet, whatever, put everything in categories. So yeah. The other words slipped my mind, and then compartmentalize. Um, yeah, yeah, and then attack it from there. Yeah, that but was I the mean, hardest part for me was the was the list was trying to like go up and down, up and down with it. Like, all right, well, fuck, I missed this. I'll go do this. Well, fuck, I, what was that up there? Let me go back up here. Mm -hmm. Ended up doing like needless switching. Yeah. The the, the most important part of it all is. This right here. <laughs> yeah. This is this is the thing because I mean, for me, whenever there's a belt involved or a title belt or whatever you want to call it, I tend to do well in those challenges. I don't know what it is <laughs> about wrestling belts and yeah. winning them. They look really uh, good on me. Hey JT, hey. you remember what happened the last time you cost me a wrestling belt? <laughs> you got booed out of the building. To be fair. Yes. Uh, I tried to call the road break and then you tapped out. So you didn't give up. Nah, you you cost me the the belt. You got booed out of the building. Hey, J J JT, I've got JT, I've got something for you. <laughs> <laughs> now we see why as simple as hashtag FJT on everything. Yeah. <laughs> also, we'll discuss that picture later with uh, the Fluffy and the maid outfit. Um, <laughs> But yeah, but, that that other belt there, uh, JC's got is for uh, ref of the year. Uh, yep. that you got what? What year was that again? You got that? The 2018 ref of the year, uh, kings and queens of wrestling, Pops which is a little better. hard to see because it's so ref so reflective. Mm -hmm. But Pops Pops um, <laughs> I don't care. I got a belt from them, so I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> just to, um, just to absolutely throw some shade here isn't that the same group that like stopped doing it after a year because they found out people were cheating the system yeah yeah see i didn't cheat the system someone cheated uh, for allegedly me. allegedly you didn't cheat the system <laughs> i didn't do anything to cheat the system <laughs> i found out that someone but the thing at the end because what the guy ended up doing he took the final four and then made a decision and thankfully because some of my wrestler friends uh Shark, I don't remember, I can't remember off my head of Donnie, did, but I know like Shark did and a couple other buddies uh, vouched for me on the group. And I think that helped set me apart because for them, they had, they had people all over the country. So to set me apart in my second year refereeing was a huge deal. I do want to speak, if you want to zoom in on me real quick, on the quality of this belt yeah. that Shark was able to create. Of course, it's kind of tough to see with all the lights <laughs> and whatnot, but... Yeah. At the end of the day, this is a really, really nice trophy to hold on to for the month because we have the challenge uh, ready to go. With Shark, if you will let me, I will go ahead and explain what the challenge is going to be. Yeah, and then ahead. I'm gonna and then I'm gonna have to go because uh, my seven year old has a football game today and turns around and has a baseball game a couple hours later. So. So, so we're going to be busy. I have to drop the hand. If you had been my parents, I would have hated you as a kid. Right? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> All of Dad, these, though, I want to go home. I, no. I, give him, I give him the complete choice on what, what he wants to do. I asked him if he wanted to play. He wanted to play, so he plays. Mm -hmm. If he said he doesn't want to anymore, then whatever. He's not going to quit midseason. But mm -hmm. if he doesn't want to play that sport, then he doesn't play. I don't. 
I don't force him into any of it. It just so happens that we have games on Sunday would suck. So that being said, I said I was the person that liked to stream athletic mm-hmm. sporting as uh, one of Logan's challenges says, win a game, win a game of sport. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that was one of the challenges. That is what I like to play. Those are the types of games I love. Right now I'm playing through NCAA 14, which I think is going to be one of my streams, actually. I'm going to be playing playing that a little bit going through a season. But the challenge for you all, looking at roughly October, fir- October 1st, we are looking to play golf with friends. <laughs> okay. So okay. I can do that. Yeah, we're close. gonna we're gonna do it on um, Xbox. Collision on, collision on, right? Now is oh, please, isn't that, isn't that cross please. cross play? It, it is. Is it cross play? Okay. okay, then whatever you want to play on. Yeah, um, I know it's free. Well, technically free because the Game Pass, it's on there. So it's cheap too. If it's not, a, if you don't have Game Pass, it's a fairly really cheap game. Yeah, like five. But it's one. It's all one we can play together. We're gonna do five courses, and then we're gonna do a point system based on everyone's finish. Now, I will not be competing. I've never played it either, but I don't think anyone's really played it enough to be an expert. Uh, question. Are we going to do, like, creator maps, or are we doing, like, stock Standard maps? maps? Um, yeah. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Because okay. I definitely... I think there's, like, 15 maps on that, too. Oh, hmm. I think we lost him. Did we lose G? I mean, he Maybe. he's in the perfect pose to lose him on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes you faced. <laughs> yes, <laughs> some of our uh, connections are being a little weird today, so <laughs> apologize if some of us drop out and then drop right back in, kind of thing. So, uh, which I know JT's <laughs> internet is like really uh, shitty because he lives out in BFE. That's why I was saying he doesn't get stream a whole lot because of his internet. So. God, that's great. There we go. Wow. That's, that's why I'm moving. That's why I haven't streamed. <laughs> what, uh, were you frozen or were you just sitting completely still? <laughs> <laughs> that's what it looked like. It, it looked like you just sat there and then as soon as uh, you started talking. <laughs> like zoomed in on him, you just went back to it. <laughs> oh, that's great. I can't wait to let the clip of that. So anyway, October 1st, Golf with Friends. That's going to be the stream. I'm not going to compete. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be you all. I'm gonna do what Shark did last time: multi-stream commentate on everybody playing. Can it um, handle that? Where, where <laughs> I'm moving, where I'm moving, I'm actually gonna have you know like real human internet. So, oh, I, and and you'll be at the new place before the challenge, right? Yeah. So that's we what get I was keys thinking. to the new place September 20th, and we'll be moved in September 27th, I think. So I'll be the set first up weekend. He's like there. That. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Nice. So, uh, with that being said, I got to go get my kiddo ready for football. Guys. Real quick, now with that yep. challenge, uh, what's the setup to win? Well, pretty much it's going to be most most points scored. So we'll have, like I said, five matches. Uh, we'll just winner gets four points, second place gets three. We'll just do it like that: four, three, okay. two, one, and then most points at the end of the five courses will be your new champion. But until then. I'm going to hold all the belts that I've earned. Uh, actually, won these. Not given. Or not given. Uh, <laughs> these. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And uh, guys, I will see you all later. And, you know, let's sleep with these babies and keep them real close at night. Bet you won't take them to the games. Yeah, hold, Bet you hold won't on. take them to the games. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> I don't want to hold them all the time. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I can see all the little kids coming up to me like, whoa, where did you get that? (laughs) Are you famous? (laughs) Ah, there he goes. All right, so so that's the challenge. Uh, He kind of messed me like a little bit before we started about it a little bit. So um, so yeah, I guess we're going to be doing golf with friends. We're going to shoot for October 1st, that Friday. And then like he said, uh, we'll do the scoring of like first place gets four points or whatever and kind of go like that. And then it should be like a best of five series kind of thing or something like that, he said. So we'll iron out those details a little bit later. I'm going to see all of you guys playing golf with friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's for funny because month. it was on my, my list uh, to play anyways, just for achievements and stuff. And then he said this and I was like, well, fuck, now I got half to play it. Now. <laughs> yeah. So I've played it a little bit. It's actually pretty fun. So, yeah, I've never played it. 
Never. But I, I haven't a either. A lot of mini golf games, so. Mm-hmm. Eh. It's, this one's different because it's more like you actually control the ball, from what I can tell. Oh yeah, because yeah, you can jump and it. shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think you can turn that stuff off though, if you really wanted to. But we'll probably yeah. leave it on. Like I said, can we leave collision on? Yeah, that's that's <laughs> fine. That's what I want to know. I'm down with that. We better start sabotaging times. someone. They get too far ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Uh, but yeah, that's so that should be, be pretty fun. Yeah, and it, that, that should be a quicker, I guess you could say, challenge than the scavenger hunt thing too. So if yeah. we do it later in the evening, everybody should be able to be there the whole time, and knock it out, kind of thing. Yeah. Um. All right, so you guys, uh, what all has been going on the past month since our last podcast? I know saying wasn't here for the last one, so uh, saying you want to just tell us what you've been up to and stuff like, <laughs> past month. <laughs> uh, I went to North Dakota for um, military school and have been moving my jujitsu school for the last like week and a half. So mm-hmm. I, I I haven't really been streaming much because of that. Yeah. Uh, you want to tell about your uh, school some? Uh, yeah, we just uh, moved to Marion, Illinois, and we went from like a thousand square feet to almost two thousand square feet. So, dang, yes, you can yeah. grab all the men now. That's exactly <laughs> what we're gonna do. <laughs> which, which we had, we were supposed to open last week, but we had an issue with. Uh, something they did with the ceiling in one of the rooms so the city was like you're not allowed to open oh, so, man. So i gotta wait till monday Jeez. to get like reinspect it yeah it's it's so stupid mm-hmm. but yeah uh pretty much uh gonna be doing that full time so any training jujitsu and well and teach it um is there anything else you also do at the school uh, with that? uh let's see we teach jujitsu Muay Thai, Judo, Wrestling, Akiti Tersha, Kali, I mean, you name it. Nice. Teach me how to be skinny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do that. I do that too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he yes! Can. <laughs> we will stream Fluffy's weight loss journey. Okay. Hey, yeah, okay. <laughs> Make it a vlog series. <laughs> there you go. That'd be a very long stream. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> not an in, you don't get results instantly. Yeah, <laughs> I said, you have to the entire time. It's Listen, scary. I can get you to drop like 15 pounds, but you're gonna be really dehydrated. Yeah. <laughs> Bad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, well, that's really cool. I'm glad to hear uh, that it's working out and everything. Yeah. Um, hopefully, you, uh, inspection goes well and get the doors yeah, open next they- week. They didn't put a ceiling in my storage room, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would do it. Yeah. So what you're saying is, you had unlimited storage. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. He just put it really high, man. They just put it really high. That's what Yeah, hey, I'm stacking stuff like 30 feet in the air. <laughs> Golly. Yes. Makes me think of like those... All the equipment. Uh, like RPGs where it's like you just load down your character so much shit and stuff. Yeah. I always picture that. Like they just stack it on them. They're just like uh, carrying around. Uh, well, the, the company we went through has just been awful the entire time anyway. And like my uh, mop sink in my storage room, they forgot to run the line for. Oh, man. Until they like, yeah. Yeah. And so they like put everything in and then they're like, oh, yeah, we didn't run this line. So now we're going to have to run this line. Shit. Yeah, they, they've been terrible. Golly. Well, um, so you said that opened hopefully this week and everything. So I mean, technically, we opened last week. I, I was yeah. having classes, just not charging people money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was the uh, trial offer. <laughs> yeah, that's that's essentially what it was. Nice. They told me I couldn't conduct business, so I just had classes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there you it's go. Free. It's, it's no longer money. business. There you go. It's not business. It's Loopholes. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm all about it. Uh, all right. Well, simple. Uh, what were you up to last month? Can we just pause? Because can I yeah. just ask, out of context, how bad is this about to be? Because there's a reason that I feel like you were waiting for me for last. <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> Somewhat. And I'm gonna give some foreshadowing. Yeah. Um. So within my last month or so, uh, things have. <laughs> Kind of picked up ish. 
Um, so we've kind of got more active, like multi-streaming or multiple people on a stream kind of deal. Um, I helped Fluff with like a subathon that he did, where like every five gifted subs he took a chop, which was great <laughs> as a wrestler delivering chops to a non-wrestler. Yeah. It was wonderful. <laughs> it was absolutely wonderful. Uh, so that's kind of what was going on in the last month. Picked up a few extra games for uh, spooky season coming up. So I've got things kind of on the horizon. Uh, started playing Devour. Uh, picked up Pacify. Um, might be bringing back some console for some Friday the 13th. Just kind of nice. some spooky yeah. games for October time. And that's nice. kind of where like the past and the now. Um, and then going forward, I've got a lot of new stuff to kind of allude to. But we'll wait a little bit later on. And then we'll talk about that because we got something that's so much better coming. Nice. <laughs> um, have you gotten much uh, work done at the house there uh, to get ready for the little one? Oh, stuff? oh, yeah. Yeah, that is. OK, so we got the entire room like we got wallpaper on the top, like third, how we wanted. Mm -hmm. uh, we got our white border wood going around. Um, we've got the bottom painted. We've got the crib in there. We got a chest of drawers that somebody, not going to name any names, helped move. Um, we actually sanded it down on the drawers, painted the drawers, put different handles on it, um, got a chair for in there, stuff like it's. I mean, honestly, other than going back behind with some wood putty and some white paint for the trim boards, it's almost done. Nice. And we've still got two or three months left, so we're looking good. We're looking good. Hey, it's better to get that stuff done early than yeah. later, you know, kind of thing. For sure. Um. All right. Well, Fluff, you want to tell us about no. the past month? No. Yes, no. you do. Know. No. <laughs> no. Tell we, us. We, tell we, us about we your. We uh... to the to the next topic. It's okay. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. No. no. He, he, yep. He had yep. his a uh, subathon. That he yeah. did. We were talking about that uh, last podcast episode uh, that was coming up and everything. Uh, how'd so, that go for you? Yeah, how'd it go? Yeah, yeah, yeah not at all how I planned. So, <laughs> planned on maybe getting like 10, you know, like 15. Like, yeah, cool, new emote slot. And we hit 80. Like, mm -hmm. over 80. So, what points. was the goals for everything? Like, what was the rewards for everything? Uh, so everybody knows. Um, it, it, it was like... um. 15 was the new sub emote. Um, 20 was, you know, the mid card mafia party stream that we did. Um, what, what, was, what was, what was 30? Uh, hold or on. 40. I'm looking for the, the flyer here. I got I'll, somewhere. I was about to say, I don't have it pulled up because that wasn't it. That one wasn't, this. that one wasn't fast, was it? No, that was okay. Yeah. 35 was another new emote. 50 was the cosplay stream. 60 mm -hmm. was the Dark Souls 3 playthrough, which I need to continue that. It's just, I got big angry. I got big mad. On the tutorial boss! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On the fucking tutorial boss! Yes! <clears throat> and then 80s was a Tarkov stream, which I I, I've been playing that to get used to it, to actually I think stream you it. One. You missed one. I didn't miss one at all. Didn't miss one at all. <laughs> um, and 100 was an OnlyFans page that thank god we did not hit but no we did get to, to that, that other shit. one that you're not talking about I'm, mm -mm, I don't know what you're talking about there was yeah. nothing else in my rewards yeah. that was yeah. that was yeah, it they did was. everything <laughs> they did. yeah there it is <laughs> yeah there I think that's no. that's the one right right there yeah yeah number 25 no. sub was a made outfit no. stream yeah, yeah. Dragon. I like that it says clipped by Simple <laughs> Lindy. Yeah. <laughs> he said the clip. Hey, so let, let's let's go ahead and run that real quick for everybody. No, yeah. no, we don't. We yeah. don't have to. Let's go ahead and run that. <laughs> You've been naughty. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you didn't do OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my Thank god. You. So it, um it, to give y'all a little bit more of a background, oh you god. can take stop playing. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You've been naughty. Golly. Oh my god. By the way, I'm gonna make that alert. 
I'm gonna make that an alert on my stream. I just don't know what yet. Please do that. 100%. Yes. That'd be great. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm so make it a sound bite for our stream as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the person behind that all is you know sitting here with me, you know, uh, so she can see it as well. They said in the whole clip. Yeah, I can see it playing. Over. And you can. And you can <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you clicking it? You've been naughty. I can still hear it. I can still hear it. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, the funny thing was, like, I was watching the, the main stream, and of course, you guys were doing uh, Dark Souls for a little bit on that, and then um, switched to Faz. Everyone, yeah, yeah, everyone kept asking for Phasmophobia, so I was just and, like, uh, "Fuck it." I got busy with uh, other things, and then uh, Sinful sent that to me in a message, <laughs> and I was <laughs> like, "Oh my god, this <laughs> is amazing!" <laughs> was like. I've got to use this somehow. <laughs> so, so yeah, if that doesn't prove that I won't do a lot for stream and, you know, do a lot to make people happy. You've been naughty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my you know, God. for a second, I almost thought it was actually her saying it again and not <laughs> yeah. the clip. Stay quiet. I Don't add to this. I 100% <laughs> thought she was saying it. 100%. Oh, God. Oh, God. But, See, but yeah. It's a good alert. <laughs> So it was Good sub alert. There yeah. you go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh Wait till Raja gets a hold of the clip I and finds out everything. how to put clips on his stream yeah. for points. Mm -hmm. I regret everything. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that was so funny. But yeah, that was that was a very low reward that I did not think was gonna be hit at twenty five. So I was like, yeah, high dollar amount, you know, like, yeah, this is something that people might want and want to torture me with. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put it to where I expect to get. Yeah. Sheesh. Yeah. <laughs> and then also to add on to your uh, subathon, you did a sleep block slash nuzlocke of... Uh, it was not a sleep block. It was not a sleep block. Technically, yeah. Yeah. He, he had to take a break, but uh, the nuzlocke playthrough of... Uh, Sapphire was it? Ruby. Ruby. Okay, it was Ruby, and you did it in one go. Technically, yeah. Well, te technically, it was two, right? Because you technically started, then restarted. The I had route. to restart because whenever I did the randomizer, I accidentally clicked uh, random typings. Mm. So like, so, like Bulbasaur, he had a flyer, a flying Bulbasaur or something. It was a steel type Bulbasaur, and I was like, yeah. no, I want to do like actual run through, not like random ass typings. Like, why was a fighting type move super effective on a fucking Bulbasaur? Yeah, and that's <laughs> that's what it was. So technically, <laughs> I messed up the ROM, so I went back and fixed it, and then actually did the real run. Mm -hmm. So he messed up, he chickened out, and then did it a second time. Yeah. Okay. And then he was like, "Oh, my star is Inte. Okay, let's go with this." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How yeah, that convenient. is a way to start. Yeah, that, Ra that Raikou carried me through all the way to Rayquaza, and then Rayquaza decided to come in and just go, yeah, hey, gone. Yeah. Delete. They still did, <laughs> like, technically one go, which is pretty impressive. I, I thought for sure you would have uh, at least a couple of resets in there. I, I did, too. Once I got to that one point, I just could not keep encounters. My only bet was to train up, like, the three or four mons that I could keep and just like, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Get up to a high level. Come on. Yeah. Definitely. So thankfully there wasn't anything added to it that like kept me from speeding up to do all that grinding to actually get through the game. Yeah, that fast forward option in the game really comes in handy. Yeah. For, like Nuzlocke's and stuff. Um speaking of uh Pokemon there, um the the remakes that are coming out, I did a little bit more investigating on that, and apparently not only is it like a remake of those, but they also are adding a few more little features and stuff. So yeah, I think they're. Uh, good. I think they're evolving on the uh, underground stuff that you could used to do in the old one, and yeah. making it a lot more immersive. And you actually can catch Pokemon in certain areas in there based on like certain times or like what you know biome. Yeah, I guess you get in this like cave type deal. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping they bring back some is things. The, the biome. Well, it changes for some other reason. Like one of them's like a mossy, like dark. The other one's like volcano fire, and then it's like, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that I don't think they're gonna tell us. Hopefully, until it gets time and we see it. But 
I'm hoping it's not just like it comes out next month, doesn't it? Yeah, it comes out in November. It's, I'm just hoping it's not like a genuine remake, yes, so but they bring back like some stuff and. I mean, it would probably be the same they did for like the Let's Go. Not, not I mean, yeah, not it the looks, exact same setup, but it looks a lot like Let's Go, at least with the the battle system in it. Yeah, yeah. I think they did some of like the art form, and they kept like the original like chibi artwork, just you know, upped it, but. It, I mean, the latest trailer they showed looks a hundred times better than the one they showed at E3. Yeah, yeah, they like they it. It looked rough. Changes. Yeah, it very like pixelated. Mm. It, I mean, it just looked like a like 3ds game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which it's funny you say that. I <laughs> I actually have my 3ds sitting right here nice. um, because I just got on there because I was like debating if i wanted to keep it or not and i decided i'm gonna keep it and i was like you know what let me get on the the shop and just see what games are on here because right now the only game i have on there is pokemon yellow and uh of course they got like almost all the pokemon games the well at least the older ones um before switch and stuff um and they're like oh 10 bucks 10 bucks and it's like sapphire it's like 40 still and i'm like you're fucking out of your mind have you seen like the used <laughs> copies at like gamestop they're they're outrageous like heart gold and soul silver is like oh yeah bucks. yeah, yeah I went, no, for I went a used to, copy uh, i went to a uh one of those stores it's like buy and sell games and yeah. collectors and stuff they had i think it was uh the sapphire like remake the omega oh yeah uh, not, alpha not, sapphire. yeah alpha sapphire and uh they were one, I think, one forty for it or something. Yeah, it, it's oh. crazy. Yeah, and it was like in really? the package, I think, still yeah. and stuff or whatever. It might have been used, but it was still had its like case and stuff. And I was like, no, nah. that's yeah. like that's crazy. I still have my case. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, but it's funny because, uh, like I said, I was at that shop and stuff. Uh, cause I was selling some old games and uh, gaming stuff I had, and. Just looking around the store, I was like, you know what? A game I really want to get because I've never played it and I want to play it on stream eventually. It's Paper Mario. I yeah. want to do it. It Paper is Mario so games. good. I've watched speedruns of them before and stuff. And I was like, you know what? If I can get Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door or whatever it's called and uh, do those on stream, maybe like next year, kind of do like a series is what I'm thinking about doing next year because I've done a lot of first time playthroughs this year. I'm thinking of doing like series of like two, like, as long as there's two in a series or three, then do like the three kind of thing. But yeah. um, are you raising your hand? Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was, I was well, raise can... your hand. Get focused. Get what? Get right, nerd. What, what's okay. your question, sir? Am I good now? Yeah, go ahead. Am I having problems now? I think I'm having problems now. Not good. No, you're good. Okay. Yeah, but yes, yeah, so if I was called on, I I have the thousand year door, and I I will gladly you know let you have it. Oh sweet! You got it. I'd on, be careful uh, with that. He tends to like borrow games for like, for like three, three years. years. Yeah. 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 Yes, I have it on GameCube. Oh, GameCube. Yeah. Okay. I. I wait. Wait. Isn't it on N64 as well? I don't know. I just have the GameCube one. I'm going to investigate real quick. <laughs> you said the Thousand uh, Year Door. I think that's the one that I've got. I think that's the second one, isn't it? Yeah, it's the second one. Um. I was thinking. Yeah, was the on first in... one's on sixty four. Damn, it is on just paper GameCube. Mario. Well, I don't have a GameCube, so <laughs> be good luck getting one uh, of those too. <laughs> yeah. Um. I. Yeah. I. I don't see me playing a GameCube. I might have to do an emulator on that one. Honestly, I have a GameCube. Well, I would assume so <laughs> since you have a GameCube game. <laughs> well, he said good luck getting one of those. You can borrow the GameCube as well. <laughs> I might have to do that, but I. You know, GameCube was always a system I always like passed on because back when it first came out i was Why? like the fuck's this controller i was like yeah that controller is. <laughs> that, controller. That, oh. that is the uh smash controller yeah yes that was like but, oh. but pokemon coliseum was so good no let's let's be real let's be real anybody that played on gamecube played one of two games and it's wrestlemania 2000 because they had where you could interrupt wrestling moves by punching people or <laughs> Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Crystal Chronicles. Was really I, good. I did it for Pokemon. See, no, you don't you say that because okay. GameCube, when I hear GameCube, the games that come to my mind first is Smash and uh, Mario Kart. 
Yeah. And then and then Mario Sunshine well, would be the third. Didn't the GameCube come out around the same time as the original Xbox? Yes. And that's yeah, why so, uh, I yeah. went that route because yeah. I was uh I was Nintendo basically all all growing up and I played uh, PlayStation one and two and then I, mean, I switched from PlayStation uh, to Xbox. And then I was like uh GameCube came out and I was like, Oh yeah, sweet, new new Nintendo system and I saw the controller and was like, The fuck is this? And then I was like <laughs> Innovation. I, like, I, don't, I don't think I'm gonna do this, and I kind of stuck with PlayStation, <laughs> and then, um, and then one of our buddies, uh, he had uh, Xbox when it came out with Halo, and yeah. showed me it, and I was like, "This game's amazing!" And then I was like, yes. I <laughs> Xbox," and I got it, Halo Two on Xbox, and then the rest is history. I'm basically Xbox from there on. So, um, but yeah, so like, I want to circle back. So like the the store and stuff. Like I was looking at the the games, and uh, JT actually told me about this store here in town, and so I finally got over there and checked it out. And they had uh, Paper Mario uh, on N sixty four, just the cartridge itself, no case or nothing, and it was a uh, hundred dollars. And I was like, and I was like, okay, you know, because it's it's kind of a popular kind of rare game yeah. and stuff. Yeah, you know, I was like, that, that's yeah. kind of fair, you know. Oh. Well, I look over the guy with the case and stuff, and I was like, "Oh, okay, cool, three hundred fifty. And I was like, <laughs> "No, no, <laughs> not three fifty for me." I was like, "I'm going to pass on that." Um, which yeah, it, retro is, games? It's just crazy, like how much some of them are. Yeah, um, I'll have to look it up here in a second. Uh, I mean, wasn't it Super Mario 64 that sold for like one point five million dollars, like perfectly sealed and all that recently? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's funny you say that, actually. I remember seeing something about that. Uh, Super. Let me look that up, actually. Super Mario 64. That's um, what I thought it was. Yeah, it was some ridiculous amount. I mean, Which if it, a game that's going to sell for a ridiculous amount, it's going to be a Mario game. Yeah. Honest. Well, they, they got it graded, too, and I think it was a perfect 10. Yeah, it literally says July 12th, a uh, copy of Nintendo 64 Classic Super Mario 64 sold at an auction for a whopping $1.56 million. I was so close. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a crazy amount. I know. Can you imagine, like, just going through your closet and finding something like that? Yeah, I know. It's. I mean, it's funny because I have, like... Uh, some N64 games with the cartridge. Like, I literally have Mario 64 with its case still, but it's, it's a little banged up and stuff because, you know, cardboard yeah. case. But, um, but it just it baffles me that, that that would sell that much. Um, but it's funny because, like, looking at that store, there wasn't a whole lot that really stood out to me. Like, oh, I want to get that. Like, Paper Mario was like the only thing, really. Mm -hmm. Um, but, like, is there any like games out there, like, you guys or consoles or anything like that that you guys would be like i would shell out like extra money for that basically just because you <laughs> have like a nostalgia uh -oh. factor to it or something chrono trigger i've been looking for a copy of that forever oh, yeah. <laughs> like i just want i just wanted to collect it i don't even have a super nintendo but <laughs> i just want it I'll play hey. it. i just want it i bought a i actually do have some like old old Sonic games still in the case and everything that I just happened to find. Mm -hmm. that I thought was pretty cool. Hell yeah! I have one that says not a bit, not for individual resale or something like that. And somebody <laughs> sold it to me. And I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, those, those shit are pretty pricey actually. If you go yeah. sell them. Um, what about you, uh, sinful fluffy? You guys have anything like that? Um, I mean. Really, okay. like, my nostalgia games have always been, like, I don't know. I feel like it's going to be, like, the old either, like, Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong games. Once again, I have no way to play them, but that would be a nostalgia game. Or go back yeah. and get, like, an old PlayStation and play, like, some Final Fantasy VIII. Yes. Because that was kind of, like, I, I skipped seven, 100% skipped seven, so I never really played it. So eight is where I kind of fell in love with the Final Fantasy series. So that's always been like in my mind, my mind's representation of Final Fantasy in general. Yeah. Oh, lucky for you, there's a remake of Seven. That's yeah, yeah but I don't the like original. the combat system. I really don't like that <laughs> combat system. It's understandable. 
They they introduced I'm, that in the uh, the one 15. before, right? Fifteen, yeah. Yeah, yeah like because I played the one with what was it? What was her name? Lightning. Oh, thirteen. Her... It is terrible. Yeah, I played that. And I absolutely hated it. <laughs> Ever since then, I was like, anything that has this newer combat system, like I'm just I'm staying away from because it's just not for me. Yeah, I like yeah. the old school. Here's your turns. I think after I can't remember, but I think after you beat it, you can you can set it up to do that. I ain't ever gonna make it that far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean the story's really good. Yeah. Yeah, that would be the only ones for me. I don't uh, think I I'll really have you. any. Cause mine's always been any. Pokemon, so and I've gotten pretty much all the consoles or the games for them, so it's just like well I've got it. Yeah. I didn't really play any other games growing up. I was just a sheltered kid that was allowed to play Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you a um, a game I want to get, and surprisingly, it is like it's the dumbest thing because I looked it up. The game is trash. It, it really is trash, and it's the Transformers Trans Metal game. It's literally a fighting game where you take uh, the Transformers from Beast Wars, and they uh, they fight basically. It's just like a not two D, but you know, side side scroll deal. And um, okay. And they they fight and stuff, and it's like ten characters in the game of that, and it's like it's the point in the story where they've like evolved so that way they get more uh, toy sales and shit. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So they're not the typical just like cheetah anymore. He's like, oh, now I'm the now, now I'm cheetor that can like fly around with jetpack and shit, you know. And I was like, you know what? I'll get that game. I'll speed run it because it's like a ten minute speed run and shit. And I was like, yeah, I'll get that on N sixty four. So I can't find this game. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to look it up online. So I looked it up and I'll tell you this. To buy this motherfucker loose, just cartridge alone, loose is 125 bucks. <laughs> yeah, I would just emulate it if I was you. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, because it gets better from there. Because if you get it completed, like the case and all, it's $940. Oh. It, if somehow you manage to get it uh, brand new and graded and stuff, it's $1,411. God, that's crazy. For a 10-minute game? Yes. Sheesh. Yeah. And it, it, I mean, the game is awful. I'm, I'm like, how? How? Uh, but there's, I guess... there's somebody out there that would pay that, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not me, but, you know, somebody. <laughs> Not somebody who really likes Transformers. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why I was like, I'll yeah. get it. Cause I, I love Transformers Beast Wars growing up, and... It'd be an easy speedrun game and stuff, but yeah, I guess nah. it was like a, a blockbuster exclusive type of game kind of thing. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so just because the rarity, not because of the game. Yeah, the yeah so, mm -hmm. so it makes it kind of rare. Yeah, with that. But yeah, I was it's like, like nah. the ET game. It's terrible, but you found a copy of that. <laughs> you set for life. Well, it depends. <laughs> well, if you find a pristine copy of it, <laughs> yes, yes, not one in a landfill. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh man, yeah. So, I other than getting the Paper Mario game, there's not a whole lot on my list that I'm just like want to get. It always kills me going to those stores too, because it's like, let me look at their games, like especially N64, and it's like, you know, a couple of wrestling games, and then all of a sudden it's just like Madden. <laughs> like well, those games are worthless 30, after a year. Thirty Madden games, and then it's like. And all of them, all the Madden games are like four bucks. Yeah. Yeah. And then just is like, they just all go, uh, there's like huge stacks of them. And I'm just like, oh my God, so funny to me. Which to be fun, like to be fair, I would probably honestly get one of those, uh, like I'd probably get Blitz on the N64. Oh, yeah. Because that yeah. was pretty fun back in the day. Yeah. And I then, remember playing that. Uh, there was one of the NFL Madden games I played back in the day. I'd be like, I'd get it again just for nostalgia reasons. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not big on like sports games really so yeah same that store was actually really cool the one i went to because uh they have is the one that just opened up there yeah kind of they've been open for a little while now um, I, I got an ad like the other day which is crazy because i don't live in owens bro but yeah <laughs> they, i got an ad for some like new retro store and i was like i need to stop in here yeah it's probably them <laughs> it, it's, it's a fairly small store but they got a lot of really cool things and then yeah. uh the neat thing is, like I was saying, was uh, they actually have TV set up in there where you can play some games on it. Oh, so they had like cool. Mario 64. A lot of places don't do that. 
Yeah, they had like Mario 64 on there. They had a, a PlayStation hooked up with uh, Time Crisis 3 on it and stuff. So like I sat there and was like playing it and doing the shooters. So. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And uh, they had like a GameCube set up, I think, with Sonic or something on it. And uh, I think they had a Switch and stuff. So they had like a good amount of systems there to be able to play. It's pretty awesome. Stuff you just wanted to chill and play games or hang out. I mean, I, I'm it's a good business strategy because a lot of places don't do that anymore. Like, just yeah, put consoles out for you to play. I don't think GameStop or anywhere does that now. No. Right. Yeah, but say I don't think. I mean, I haven't been in GameStop in a hot minute now, but yeah, yeah it's it's not worth it. Yeah. <laughs> if 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 they have anything out, it's like one console with like one game, and that's a that's yeah. They, the last time I was in there, they had like those uh, arcade cabinets. They had one setup. That was it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jeez. That's one thing. Like uh, I was watching a show, an anime called uh, "High Score Girl." It's it's pretty good. It's on Netflix, um, and it's all about like video games, like yeah, playing, like arcade games and stuff. I think I started that. There, like just kind of looked into it. Yeah, it's it's not bad. And uh, why is he showing it, us the ocean? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> probably, probably to brag. Um. <laughs> because I, 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 that's one thing I forgot. I forgot to mention what I did last this past month, which I'll tell about in a minute. But uh, the that show, the cool thing is, it does like video games. So it's like talking about arcade games, and it actually keeps like historical events. Like they're like, oh, this year this game came out, and stuff like this, and they talk about it. And of course, huh, then they're like playing, cool. they're playing it and stuff, and they're like, oh, I'm super excited for Street Fighter Two, you know, and stuff like this, and all this. So it's like you kind of follow these like kids or a couple characters as like they grow up with the games like coming out and stuff so it, it's really neat <laughs> but it's like out. it also makes me like kind of sad because i'm like arcade games really aren't like a thing anymore really um mm -mm. they're dying out because of consoles and mobile and stuff but yeah it, it's funny saying that though because uh this past month you know what i one of the things i did was i went on a uh, small family vacation with uh, Lady Shark and Baby Shark, we went to uh, Gatlinburg and uh, went to the mountains and stuff for a few okay. days, and I uh, got to relax and stuff. And the funny thing is, while we were there, going down uh, Pigeon Forge, there, there's like literally so many putt putt courses there. But then it's like arcade, arcade, arcade. I'm like, what the fuck? Why is there so many arcades here? Like, it's the most <laughs> arcades I've seen in, like forever. You know? Yeah, uh, arcades for I... some reason are a weird thing. Or, like in bulk in like tourist spots as yeah. well as like putt putt and uh go-kart tracks especially yeah. Yeah. pigeon forge is bad about it yeah but it's like i guess it's just something to keep kids occupied i guess but it's just i don't know it's kind of weird but then you got like dave and busters which is like arcade adult, and stuff same yeah yeah adult, adult adult arcade. Adult arcade yeah yes. <laughs> and it's like i've only been to one of those and that's when i was out in california uh and it was cool to go through there, but literally, I'm like walking through. I'm like, don't want to play that. Don't want to play that. Don't want to play that. Yeah, <laughs> it was like two two games that whole motherfucker that I actually wanted to play. <laughs> Have you been to Chuck E. Cheese lately? It's, no. I, yeah. So I, I don't want to get arrest warrant. So <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we took I, we took Isla there, and I mean, half the games either didn't work or they were just. I'm like, why would I want to play this? Yeah, exactly. The oh man. I just I don't know. I kind of miss arcades. Just, yeah. I don't know. This there's the nostalgia factor there. I guess just to play them. Like even though when I went to arcades, I only played like a couple games. Like Time Crisis was my big go to game. Yeah. I love playing that game. But like I didn't really play like the Star Wars game, the zombie House of the Dead, and things like that. Um, ironically enough, it was always Time Crisis or that that game where it's like the light goes around. You have to like stop it in like yeah. the little zone. Yeah, I played that shit because I was actually good at that. You know, I played a lot of the uh, like the driving games, so like the motorcycle racing, cruising USA, and then like mm -hmm. the Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift game. Whenever that was out, yeah, I played a shit ton of those. Yeah, definitely. Uh, what did you guys play when you guys went to arcades? Usually, fluff. And simple. All right, I mean, saying you guys got to go to the arcades <laughs> again. His arcade was sit, his arcade was sitting out in the backyard with the TV in the living room, trying to see what his mom was watching. <laughs> uh, I played it, like it Time was... Crisis and House of the Dead. 
Mm-hmm. Straight up Pokemon. That's all it was. Pokemon at the house. We weren't we weren't allowed the arcade, man. Okay, now I gotta I ask. I don't know whether to feel bad for you or not. Well, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what time is going to answer that? Hold on. Did you have somebody to trade with? Himself. Okay, that now feels sad. Now feels yeah, sad. That is really sad. There's a reason. There's a reason I would buy both games. Yep. Or I'd ask for both games. That way I could. That way I could trade with myself. Yeah. Well, now they sell them in a bundle. Yeah. Exactly. So it works out even better for me. <laughs> Just keep up the tradition. Yeah. <laughs> Loneliness. Yeah. That's, that's one thing nice about like the newer games because you can do online <laughs> versus having to be in person, you know? Exactly. I like the uh, I like global trade. like random where you just send a Pokemon and then you get another Pokemon that somebody oh, randomly Oh, Wonder sent. Trade. <laughs> yeah, oh, Wonder God. Trade. God. I would just be sending Weedles all the time. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of those guys. Yes, yeah. I would be. Yeah, I'm like, see, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send this one, and then I get a Weedle. <laughs> see, I would do the same thing, but mine would be all B drills, and it's not because I'm trying to be a dick. It's because I'm trying to get more people to use B drill. <laughs> <laughs> all the B drills named Weedle. <laughs> oh, they're sending a Weedle. <laughs> oh, at least it's a B drill. No, I'll name it Mewtwo. Yeah, I'm sending a Mewtwo B drill. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> You're right, nerd. He is as good as Mewtwo, I promise. <laughs> he has a higher physical damage, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. Um, so so in the next uh like month, what do you guys have planned? Anything particular and stuff? Who's going first? Um actually I was gonna <laughs> ask him. I think I asked this question in the last one. Because I know I have to ask the convention. I, I, I forget like what we talked about. Because I kind of want to pro- bot, bot, bot. Jesus Christ. Yes, he hard. wants to bot the convention. <laughs> Podcast. Hack it. Or Hackerman. like stream like some of the stuff at the con, you know, like walking through, like seeing the people, you know, especially me being in my cosplays and stuff. You know, like how your maid outfit is that your no? Look, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that may or may not be going in the suitcase. That may or may not be going with me. And I'm you not making any promises. Of the- <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, he's back. still playing it. Yeah, oh, even better. I thought she said it. No, no gosh. I'm gonna convince no one, her to say that. No one I'm gonna convince me. her to say that at the con. Yeah. That's so funny. It it definitely will. Pr- I'm hoping it'll be after hours type deal because a lot of the cons have uh, 18 plus panels after like eight o'clock. Mm-hmm. So yeah. just like you know, daytime I have like my normal cosplay. Go back to the room, you know, wash up, take a you know, take a break for a second, then just come out in full cat made. Oh gosh, <laughs> <laughs> including the plug. Okay. Um, now, <laughs> oh my gosh, the. Uh... Oh, it's funny. I think I said it in your chat when you did it, but I had Lady Shark come in here and watch you on, in your maid outfit and stuff. And she goes, Where's his duster? <laughs> I said, That's what so I said. many times for that. So many. Oh my god. <laughs> but it was it was it I don't regret it for the fact that everyone has enjoyed it thoroughly. Even now it is it is being enjoyed, but even naughty. <laughs> yeah. Love it. <laughs> Damn it, Dave! God, it's gonna be a great alert. I swear it is. Um, Telling you, sub alert right there. But, but the, uh, I, I think I know what you were gonna ask there, Fluff, about like streaming it if it's okay and stuff. Um, yeah, and how would I again, go about that? Can I do? That? I, I haven't even tried with my to go live with my phone. Either. I would look up like their rules and stuff. Like a lot of times with conventions, they have like their rules online. Usually, they don't let you because I mean it's illegal to just film somebody. Without technically, that consent, yeah, yeah, but unless it's in public, there's. I say there's technically some... is a public event. Yeah, but you pay are... for admission, so it's private. No, yeah. no, no. You don't pay for admissions. What you pay for is to be able to go into their events. So if they have events inside of events. So like, say so you can like, just walk in. Section. Yeah. So say like you can walk in and like see everything. But you can't go into, say, like room A and go talk to this voice actor. So you would probably. I'm, I'm sure they probably be, have a policy on it. Yeah, they yeah. probably would. If I had to guess, you'll be able to record 
common areas. In that lobby area, the common area where anybody can just walk in. But as yeah. soon as you make it out of that into another doorway, camera's down. Yeah. Probably. Because uh, I, I thought about it after we talked last time. Uh, when I went to Vegas for uh, the GameStop Expo, expo thing, mm-hmm. um, I could go around, take pictures and video. But then there was like some booths out in the, the open and stuff, like Call of Duty, which still makes me laugh. They 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 threw a fucking fit when I had my camera. I was gonna take a picture of me with like the the sign that said Call uh-huh. of Duty, and it was Ghost at the time, but tells you anything. And they're yeah. like, uh, they're like, no, 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 camera down. You can't have a picture. I was like, really? I was taking a picture of the sign and not taking a picture yes. of the gameplay or nothing. They're like, no, no, camera down. I was like, okay. So, uh, so going into like certain things like that, they said no cameras and stuff which i get like i got to see like footage of uh assassin's creed black flag and uh watchdogs and stuff like it's crazy yeah, it wasn't always it wasn't gets out. leaked yeah, yeah. always <laughs> does yeah and it's like you know they were like don't record it and stuff this is like they're, they're actually playing the game in front of us basically and showing yeah. us and yeah. stuff um like a mission or something um so it's like i get it on that but then some things it's like you know they're okay with it like the walking around and stuff what i would recommend is like i said look up the rules and stuff online they might say yes or no kind of thing yeah um but then also i would kind of recommend maybe just do like recording of it versus like live yeah. streaming it because then you can go back and edit it up and make like a youtube video and make it like good and just show the highlights of it all yeah kind of thing yeah um but with that yeah because i know i i'll say what my goal is end goal for like conventions and cons and stuff like that is like get to like that perf- like that fuck my backwards professional level of like people you know are excited to see me at cons and like like have that moment of holy shit I get to meet you know this guy or whatever else like like I have with stuff mm-hmm. so like with the streaming and trying to be like a cosplayer and stuff like that like that's that's where I want to get to eventually yeah so it it's funny you saying that it always makes me think uh like it's cool like you can meet like famous people and well-known people and stuff and the first twitch con i went to back in 2017 i ran into uh demetrius johnson mma fighter (laughs) and stuff and it was right when we got into the con and it was super packed and busy and stuff like people were waiting to get in it was just it was it was not done well like to get in so i went around the back and there was a back entrance that nobody knew about apparently but it was there so i just went in basically and um i ended up walking past him because i was looking for lady shark to find her and tell her to come around and stuff and literally i walked past and i was like oh hey uh johnson how's it going and he was like oh hey man how's it going i was like well it's going good i'll see you later and i like i big time to fucking demetrius johnson and fucking <laughs> i was like after the fact i was like did i just big time a ufc champion <laughs> he was, at, at that time too he was like the pound <laughs> town best fighter in the world exactly yeah. exactly and that was the funny thing and then the also straight, the like, thing oh, that, hey man what's up bye i gotta then, go bye <laughs> and then the other thing that pops in my head of course i meet him and i'm like oh hey nice to meet you and stuff and then i'm like this guy's shorter than me and like smaller i was like but he could fucking destroy me <laughs> <laughs> Look, he, we- he weighs in at 125 pounds i mean yeah, <laughs> Shark- yeah I Sharks- like- what i have a feeling that's gonna be like if people actually recognize me for any kind of way it's just i'm, I'm not gonna get any kind of excitement it's just like hey bye <laughs> runs off like that yeah, that makes me feel great fuck you hey, that's yeah. when you I mean, if you're in that maid outfit there may be other reasons <laughs> yeah it's when True. you pull out the, look you know who i am yeah. <laughs> hey, look i already pull at conventions the, the crowd that i do not, not stop <laughs> <laughs> i already pull crowds that are like you know have straight up look at you know miss fluff and like mm, is that your brother no, oh. that's my boyfriend. Honey, if you ain't worried, I'm about to snatch him up from you. <laughs> These are not females. Yeah. I get They're that blurries. too. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. I get that too. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, the last uh, Twitch call we went to, I was in a uh, a panel thing where we got to like team up with a Twitch partner and like mm. talk to them, just have like a Q&A with them and stuff. It was yeah. really cool. And uh, one of the guys in our group... Uh, was digging on me basically and uh his 
boyfriend, I think it was at the time, maybe his husband, and uh, was in the other group with Lady Shark. And then they ended up talking. It was like, oh, that guy over there, he kind of looks like Jesus. He's so fun and everything. And they're like, she's like, that's my husband. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh, girl, you lucky and stuff. <laughs> I just want you to make me holy. It just, it just made me laugh. <laughs> she like came up and told me, she's like, yeah, they were like you over there. I was like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, besides the con, where I hope, you know, I can see some people have a whole lot of fun and the cosplay stream once they get them done and like a few other streams that if y'all want me to help with or be a part of. Really, that's that's really all I've got going on. But I've got people hollering at me because they want water, drink down at the beach, and they want me to go down yeah. and swim. So I've got to get out of here. Yeah, go do your thing. So, and enjoy your uh, vacation trip and everything. Thank y'all so much. No, I'll see y'all later. Yeah. See you, man. Right, You've been we'll see. You. Dave, you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. See you, man. Oh, man. God, I'm gonna have to make that alert. I gotta make it yeah, alert. I'm telling you, that would be the perfect sub alert. Yeah, yeah pretty. I'm solid. thinking. I'm thinking about because uh, something I was I kind of already started doing was like on dono amounts, like special dono amounts have them and stuff. And I'm thinking about doing one for that as well, like <laughs> one specifically for him. Like basically yeah. do one for each person, like you guys and stuff, yeah. like certain amounts, and then have it uh do something mm-hmm. like a special one and stuff um it kind of sucks though because like like kind of talk about that a little bit more and it's a big thing going on twitch right now is like i was going to do uh my subathon because we talked about this last time i was gonna do my subathon this month for september and i was like oh it works out because you know september they do their september deal on twitch and stuff 20 percent off subs and they they change it every year depending on what they do and uh i was going to do it but then i decided not to because of the whole hate raid yeah. issue and stuff going on right now um i guess kind of don't feel good like supporting tr- twitch in that way you know um yeah like I, mean, I actually that's one of the reasons i switched over to youtube yeah and um it's just i don't know because Honestly, I didn't do as much research as I probably should have done before this podcast about it, but like to kind of enlighten people that don't know that's listening, it's on Twitch, we they have moderation and like mod tools and stuff to try to prevent like certain issues and stuff from chat. However, there's an asshole out there or a couple people out there that they have kind of like cheated the system basically and have hooked up like bots to basically raid people's channels with these bots and they say like derogatory messages and stuff like that. And usually it's aimed towards uh, the marginalized streamer community. So like people of color, the yeah. LGBTQ uh, community and things like that. And it's not it's not good because it's something that's been pushed off a long time for Twitch. And that's where a lot of people are now fed up with it because it's always been pushed off and backburnered. And now it's like, a lot of communities just had enough of it and stuff. And um, I know like me, there's a, a handful of other streamers. I know that basically that's what they did. They went through and like canceled all their subscriptions to everybody that they yeah. do. And then what they do is they're like, Hey, however I can support that streamer, just I'll do it. it. Just, just yeah. not on Twitch basically until they get fixed and stuff. And um I know one streamer it actually pissed him off a big time because uh, Twitch sent out an email talking about, well, in the meantime, we've got our mod tools and this and that you guys can use. And he's like, these don't fucking work. Like, yeah. that's the fucking point. It's like he got super pissed about it and was like, went on a big tirade about it. And I was like, I mean, he's got a point. So, yeah, and that's why I'm yeah. like, you know, I like I was only subscribed to pretty much just the group here. And uh, I went through and canceled it and like I was going to just do donos when my subscription came up, you know, <laughs> and stuff like that. And, um, and just well, do Twitch it that takes way. Like, like 70 percent of it, isn't it? Or something like that. Uh, yeah, it's it's like it's, a 70 30 split for yeah. a lot of things. I don't, I don't think it's that much. I think it's it's more closer to the 50 oh, no, mark. It, I think yeah, it's like 60 it's 50, 40. It, when you're partnered, you can get the 70 30. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah. I was about to say, because I, th- I think it's like basically for a sub because it's five bucks roughly yeah so you get about 240 or something like that 
So you can do they, 40, YouTube, they get 250, uh, and then like 10 cents in processing fees. Yeah. YouTube does the, for members, does the 70 30 on everything, and then you can set your own prices. Yeah. Which I, I thought, thought was kind of cool. Looking at YouTube, but I just... it, it's so much harder to stream to YouTube. Like, there's so much like extra setup you have to do. Yeah, yeah. that's the stuff I never knew, so I just really never messed with it. I guess uh, I've been messing with it, and I mean, they have a whole like, dashboard that you can go into, and like, you can stream to it, but you have to hit go live in that dashboard, and it doesn't really tell you that unless you like look up how to stream. So like, you could sit there for like an hour streaming and have no viewers, and then realize that you never went live. So, wow. like, your Streamlabs or your OBS says you're live, but YouTube doesn't actually send it. Yeah, live. you have to, like, um, you can stream to it. So, like, kind of like a test stream so you can get everything set up and make sure it looks good. And then you hit uh, start stream or something in the live dashboard, and then it sends it to your channel. Wow. Interesting. Their, their servers are so much better than Twitch, too. Oh, yeah. But. And, I mean, I, it's one thing, like, I'm debating on switching to YouTube. I'm kind of waiting to see how Twitch handles this stuff. Because right now, they're, I know they're working on things. They can't really say, we're doing this, because they say it. Then the person or people out there could be yeah. like, okay, well, now we know how to bypass I, it. Well, I, I think it's going to be a, like um, Activision that owns Call of Duty. So, like, their cheating problem right now. Like, they have done nothing over the last year and a half with cheating. And then hackers figured out how to give everybody in their lobby all the skins, all the blueprints for the guns and all that, which cost Activision money, and they fixed it almost immediately. Yeah. So I, I think when it starts costing Twitch a lot of money, they'll do something about it. Yeah. Till then, they're not really worried. Yeah. Which, which I mean, I think, honestly, they, they are going to be worried about it, and they are now, because they, what, what day was it? The 5th? Uh, the 5th of September, we did our you know a day off twitch yeah you know and there was a lot of people that did that you know and i forgot somebody posted like the stats for that day of how much of a drop it was actually um of course i know you got dr lupo and tim the tap man they're going to youtube gaming which i don't know if i don't i don't also don't know if it's because of that or if that just contributed to it youtube um, bottom is what it was bottom okay that um, money yeah <laughs> also saying or yeah saying's having connection issues so he's gonna be kind of going in and out but um yeah so they they're going to youtube and stuff so that's that's a lot of revenue just from two people alone two of the biggest yeah. streamers on twitch going yeah um supposedly course, nick Merckx, who's like one of the biggest streamers is going like he's yeah. kind of headed at it yeah and uh, i know if a lot of people are doing kind of like what I'm doing the other streamers I mentioned, like canceling their subscriptions and stuff. Yeah. It's like Twitch is really going to start seeing a decrease in revenue, especially within the next month. You know, once it actually hits that, I mean, getting those renewed. I, I think YouTube at some point is going to overtake Twitch as uh, as just the live streaming platform. If, I mean, it has the backbone for it being the video plane, so it's already got a, a revenue backing it, regardless of if the streaming's making money at that moment or yeah. not compared to Twitch. So it has that potential. My concern is going to be how streamlined is it going to be and how streamer-friendly is it going to be? And yeah, there, there's they definitely some that stuff to user to fix. And that, that is the one thing I have the biggest gripe about YouTube, is literally going to YouTube Gaming and stuff you can't like search anything it's like you have to know who you're looking for already they, so they're uh they're starting to change that from what i've seen mm -hmm. instead of like you have to search um if let's say you like my stream and you like it'll recommend my live stream to you now mm -hmm. it, but you have to go to like that page so that they're they're slowly working on it and now they're buying buying up like big streamers from everywhere so hopefully them doing that will bring more people in and kind of expand uh, it because i yeah. know a while back i got on youtube to just, just to search and see what people were doing on there and stuff and it was like the only things it would show me was people that i have either watched before or ones that i've already subscribed to on youtube yeah. and it was like i couldn't see anybody new stream or i couldn't like discover anybody which i thought was really yeah. dumb so Which, to be it, fair, I mean, the YouTube algorithm can't be any worse than the Twitch algorithm. Let's be honest. No. <laughs> in, in ways, yeah, I know YouTube algorithm is supposed to be better, at least for discoverability. But at least on the 
gaming side of it, it's not. At least yeah. yet. So it, well, it's it's hard, way harder on YouTube to monetize your stream too, because you oh, have yeah. to have a thousand subscribers and. I think it's like 3,000 watch hours, which if you have 1,000 subscribers and people watching, obviously you can do, but... Yeah. Yeah, I think they, they, so, they changed it a lot. So with YouTube, would your, like, I guess, considered, like, early game monetary, would you be, I guess, basing that off of, like, donations directly? Since yeah, that, that, like I mean, that's the only way, because you I don't think you can do members or Super Chat or anything until you're uh, a YouTube partner or whatever they call it. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot easier for uh, like me playing games and then uploading them to my YouTube. Yeah. A lot easier just to stream them. Then I don't have to like upload them or anything. They're just there. Yeah. So if you stream it, does it like, I guess, stay on your channel where people you, can go so do it as a video? You, you can set it to like delist or, or just remove it after you're done streaming. So it, I mean, it's nice. It it's under your videos if you go to your channel after you stream. Are you able to uh, edit it at all with that? I think you can. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I, I mean, I, I know tried. YouTube should have a way for you to re-download your old videos, though. So if nothing I, else, well, they have like an as... editor built into it. I know uh, you can go in like stuff you upload. You can go in and like change audio levels and take stuff out and all that yeah like their was, own like studio if like you know for example you do a stream and for the first 30 minutes let's say you're just sitting and chatting and stuff and you're yeah. not playing like the game you could edit that out and then actually had just the gameplay uh, from the stream yeah. You know? yeah the bit rate is pretty nice on there too it goes up to like sixty thousand for 4k wow yeah so yeah twitch your li their limit for non-partnered is six thousand so <laughs> big yeah. difference yeah yeah that was another complaint that i've been hearing is you know twitch needs to update that stuff too as well but their, their servers are com like complete trash like it, it using fiber what whatever i i always have trouble like streaming to directly to twitch yeah youtube I, I haven't had any problems streaming at all to like directly youtube i don't have to go through like a third party yeah and which i mean my biggest complaint i've had uh connection wise i guess uh on twitch is this the fact like as affiliates at least should also have the ability like partners to change their quality uh, uh transcoding yes the transcoding yeah. and it drives me nuts that affiliates can't do that as well i so can get it well you, you can it's you're just, just stuck at 1080 yeah you can yeah. as an affiliate but it's random who gets it yeah so if there's a lot of people streaming you're probably not going to get it yeah, because I know there for a while I was not getting it on stream. Like JT oh, yeah. trying to watch on his phone. He's like, I can't watch because it's stuck at 720, you know. And, yeah. And the only stuff. fix is to do audio that's, mode. That's only. a good thing about uh, mm -hmm. YouTube, too. Like you get transcoding no matter what. Yeah. Which has yeah. been pretty cool. Yeah, because I know it, it really sucks because at least on my end, I've had a lot of people from overseas try to watch my yeah. streams and stuff, you know, from the Middle East and even down like Africa and stuff. And they're like, I can't watch it. It's, you know, it's stuck at 720. I can't watch it on my phone or my connection here, you know? And I'm like, damn, that sucks, you know? Yeah. But yeah, YouTube's something that I might look into in the near future, depending basically on how things go it, on twitch basically the next month it, it was very so. frustrating to set up <laughs> mm -hmm. like the bot and everything was super frustrating but like i got all that done and so so far i really like it yeah. well i mean i think so correct me if i'm wrong but like nightbot has an option to log yeah. in with youtube so, so you I, can I still use, use that i use uh stream elements and you have to go in and make them like, like there's a community setting where you make them the moderator yeah and all that yeah Okay. It, there's just, I think Streamlabs is the same way. Let's yeah. get like a YouTube login. Good thing about Streamlabs is if you connect your YouTube to the same account your Twitch was on, it'll carry over your uh, commands. Nice. So That's you don't really have good. to like rewrite them because I had to rewrite them for Stream Elements because they don't like connect. Yeah. <laughs> Which, I mean, wasn't that big of a deal. Yeah. It's just a lot of copy and paste. Yeah. Yeah, I know with the. Uh... 
with me basically like was i'm gonna keep streaming on twitch obviously um it's kind of what i was thinking about doing was but, just streaming on twitch but but i'm just i'm making it where i'm not gonna like not really stress but like i guess advertise the way like hey subscribe to me you know if, yeah. if somebody wants to then i mean you know, it's it's kind of no change i guess technically for me it's like if they want to subscribe to me do donos or whatever that's fine they're more welcome to yeah but i'm at the same time it's like if they don't want to do it because they are mad about twitch's current situation it's like i totally understand that you know you can go to facebook gaming <laughs> hell no <laughs> hell no there's like n no like true like discoverability on there it's no. nice because it's nice because everybody has facebook but you're not going to get you anywhere either, with it yeah you no. either have to know the people or you're not going to see it yeah. exactly well that and like i remember uh when i did the previous podcast thing with uh our other buddy and uh it was like we we did it on facebook but it was like it was directly on my page yeah we couldn't do it on our our uh social page thing because it was like you had to then pick what category you're in but there's literally only video games there's no yeah. like podcast or yeah they don't have like a... or nothing yeah so it was it was aggravating and it was it like is. good good thing about youtube is they have a section for everything like there's an education section mm -hmm. like if you just get on there and talk yeah that makes sense Great. yeah so that, that's pretty cool i think twitch is way better in that realm though because i mean they have a category for everything yeah and that's what i'm saying if, if youtube can get on like that level like for the category you know categories categorization yeah of it and um in that sense like where you could just say oh i just want to see who's streaming rocket league right now or yeah. you know or this game you know it's like that or this category it's like that would be so much better in my opinion then it's like i would be more enticed to want to go to youtube yeah yeah uh, i mean they they spend a lot of time focusing on like tiktok with their Nope. nope. Awesome. <laughs> He'll be back in a second. Yeah, because man, TikTok. Ugh. I still. I every time. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. What were we saying about TikTok and stuff? So they, I mean, they did like YouTube Shorts to compete with TikTok, and they focused really hard on that. And now that's just like a YouTube feature. So yeah. hope they're gonna go focus on like taking down Twitch. Yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing that they had the Shorts, and I'm like, that's kind of cool but my only complaint is that it it's stuck in that uh vertical format and stuff it seems yeah. like or at least I, everyone i've seen is like vertical format like it's a fo phone deal to be, and I'm like, yeah, saying, well, to be it, honest it, i feel like it, most people are probably shooting those from their phone yeah that that's why it is you can you can uh do it just like the regular one the problem with that is it just makes it really small yeah which yeah because they're, they're they're copying off of tiktok because that's how tiktok is yeah which I was going to say, because I've seen some that they're the shorts, but they obviously been edited and yeah. stuff. So like they did them on PC, but then they still come out like vertical. And I'm like, ugh. Like, yeah, that's, it's, it's that's weird. Yeah, that's just how they do it. I, I, I know. I know I, I uploaded. I feel like it's more like, I guess, focused to play on a phone. Yeah, that, yeah that's, that's exactly what it is. But I, I know I uploaded just a couple clips and stuff for my stream, and I ended up getting like almost 3,000 watch hours off of a... 15 second clip oh wow <laughs> holy shit yeah that's nuts does that so the watch hours that does the shorts and everything count into the stream stuff or is it separate? so it does but it doesn't it i had i watched a video where they explained it and i can't remember which way it is but it's either if people watch it on their phone it counts or if they watch it on their phone it doesn't count one of the two okay I, yeah, know, I know my watch hours went, went up from me just uploading, like, a few clips. So yeah. I, I'm pretty sure it's, if they watch it on their phone, it counts. If they just go to, like, the YouTube and play a 17-second clip, it, I don't know if it'll count. Okay. Yeah, I'm not too sure on that. I'll have to check that out, too. See? Because, like, I, I was telling Simple, like, when you cut out there for a second, um, like, I got TikTok downloaded. I've only been on it for a total of maybe three minutes yeah. <laughs> because I literally but, got on there, followed like two people and that's it. The uh, uh, algorithm on that is very addictive. Like it will find like, if you sit and watch a video, it will find other videos like that. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
Yeah, so just, mine, I, I haven't checked out. I literally have two apps on my phone that are specifically for whenever I'm on the throne and need to kill some time. And it's <laughs> that, it's that and iFunny. Literally, yeah. I only use those two in that exact moment uh, scenario, and that's it. Uh, there's some like online editors you can use too to make like that format, so you don't have to like do it in uh editing software. You can just upload your clip. Yeah, I remember and, seeing that just recently too. Yeah, it's like Stream Ladder is one, and then uh, I think Streamlabs has the, like, their own version of it. Yeah, I know you can also like, especially if you're doing games. There's a software hashtag not sponsored here um, called GIF your game, and it will literally take a section of your game. If you like, my key I think is like F8. So yeah. when I'm playing, I can just hit F8, and it'll record like a little 20 second clip, and then you can in their software cut it down and make uh, a little gif out of it that's cool nice yeah i'll just check that out because i know that's something i want to kind of get back into myself is like take some of my twitch stuff to put on um youtube and uh things yeah. like that like just the clips you know yeah without making like a highlight clip deal and stuff yeah it's, which, i mean with the shorts, shorts on youtube perfect yeah mm -hmm. that's what you i get a lot of exposure about. from that yeah definitely um Oh man, there's something else that just popped in my head with that. I can't remember. Oh, uh, the clips. That's right. Um, so we didn't do it on this this podcast, uh, but that'll be my homework for the next one. Is I will try to make an intro, an actual intro video for the podcast where I'll take uh, clips from our streams and stuff like that, and okay. put them together with some other stuff like that, and just make it look nice. Um, so I'll make you need to get clips from y'all <laughs> when you guys get a chance to download them off YouTube or uh okay. we've also stuff. got the uh the two catfish videos on the channel. Totally can use clips from that. Yeah, so we can <laughs> get those too and stuff. Uh if y'all don't know <laughs> if you guys didn't know the uh the clips that he's or the video he's talking about is a catfish series that we put on Sinful's YouTube channel. Uh, where we played Rocket League and catfish people, basically. And uh, by catfishing, basically, we just play these horrible-looking cars or vehicles and just act like we don't know how to play the game. We're just being stupid. Uh, and then hopefully get people salty enough that they talk trash, and then we play them legit in the next game, and we usually just dominate them. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty fun. Well, definitely I do have, have another again. one of those in the works, by the way. I already got the recording. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, because nice. Yeah, especially now that you've gotten a lot better at Rocket League too. And know. then I've got a... Uh, it was uh, me, Fluff, and one of his friends, Kanan. Yeah. And not to give anything away, but we pretty much went with like a matching trio of cars. So it's... Oh, it's so atrocious. I'll put it that way. Nice. Like, it is It is bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Oh, man um do you know when that video might drop by chance i'm um, not for certain uh for people that'll be watching this video that we're recording now i will be doing a little bit of that editing after this um so i'm going to try to kind of get everything chopped down to the clips that i want and then it's just going to be kind of smoothing it over adding touches so i would hope that i would probably have it done next week that's the hope nice um we'll see if that actually pans out or not though cool deal I know on my end, video editing, besides doing the intro for the podcast, I'm going to try to uh, get a lot of my VODs from past uh, po or past uh, stream, sorry. Uh, yeah. Try to get those on YouTube. Like, I'm going to try to basically try to do like one every other day or every two days or something like that. Uh, just to get caught up on them. Cause my backlog on getting that up there is bad right now. I'm yeah. like, I don't know how many games behind now. Probably like 10, 10 <laughs> games back or something like that but um it's it's a uh, it's not too bad now because like I, I know kind of how to edit it like how i want basically i just cut out like a few of the dead spots and i just let it go so it's pretty quick and easy to edit so hopefully i can get those up uh pretty quick which speaking of i should have my part two of my shante and the pirates curse playthrough up uh maybe today or tomorrow sunday monday something like that um 
uh, it'll be it should be up next couple days or something if that uh it's got to finish up uh the description stuff on youtube and whatnot so um saying it says his computer reset so he'll be no back voice. in a minute uh he'll be back in a minute probably uh all right so if you're dropping that hopefully in a week uh that's the hope could okay. go a little bit longer but the hope is uh today after this i got some house stuff to take care of and then i'll have a few hours to just kind of do it go in and do some rough chopping and then i'll just have to kind of overlay it add in some effects stuff like that um i will say now that i'm playing on pc my editing probably will take me a little while longer because I can actually pull the replay of the game and get it from each person's point of view. Yeah, that's so nice. So going back there and then just doing like screen captures of each person's point of view and then chopping all that down probably is going to make the process take a little bit longer, but the hope is that it will okay. look a lot better. Yeah. Welcome back, Zane. <laughs> yeah, my computer just like reset in the middle of me talking. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. Um, okay, well, we'll be wrapping up here soon. Um, so what do you guys have planned basically for the month of September? Do you guys have anything like planned with on streams or IRLs things or anything? Uh, I'll let Saiyan go ahead and start this one. Uh, right now, I plan on streaming uh, Tales of Arise. I, I just oh, got nice. that. Yeah, so... Just got that. Plan on streaming through that this month, and then, uh, I mean, there's that's really about it. Okay, my, and my streaming's kind of kind of cut cut down now. So <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say because you're doing the whole uh, moving and opening the, the the school and everything. Yeah. Um, when you do stream, you are gonna be on YouTube Gaming, is that right? Yep. Okay. Cool deal. Um, what about you, uh, Sinful? Do you got anything? So I've got a couple things. Um, one is I'm going to try, try to fill out my my stream deck that I have. Um, that's one of the new <laughs> things, new toys that I got. It's pretty um, nice. Oh, yeah. I went ahead and sprung for the XL, and I have so many unused buttons. It's crazy right now. Yeah, I can uh, imagine. I have yeah. the 15 one, and I have a bunch of buttons I'm not using. Yeah, mm -hmm. I completely did not, like when I first got it, did not know that you could do like folders. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, 32, I can make that work. And then I realized you could do folders. And I was like, oh, man, I have way too many options. Uh, you used to not be able to do that. Now you can. But uh, so I've got that. Trying to get some more stuff going with that. Um, I will probably be releasing out a like official poster for the October uh, like Joker cosplay stream subathon type thing that I'm going to do. Um. So that'll probably be coming out in this month. The only other thing that I have kind of in the works right now is I'm getting some new logos made for like the Sea of Thieves group that I've been playing with. So it's been like uh, me, Faja, uh, Tell Millennial Falcon, Dormant Gnome, uh, just kind of like a group of like four or five that have been playing it as of recently. Going to get a logo for that. And the reason we're getting that is because we officially have an actual merch store. Uh, with nice. my logo and the FJT logo, and then it has like the little dog uh, emote. If you've been in my Twitch streams, that emote can be added onto all of the merchandise as well. And I like the one I'm going through because it lets you customize it in that way. So, for example, one of the biggest things that I've enjoyed with it is if I have like my logo on the back of like a sports shirt, you can customize it and put your name and like make it arch and everything. Nice. So a lot of customization there. So I'm kind of getting some more things to kind of fill it out. And for the most part, that's pretty much what my month is going to look like other than trying to get some more footage and get some things kind of intentionally backlogged for video editing. That way, when I have those days where it's just like two hours of time and that's it, I can just hop on some editing and try to knock that stuff out. Yeah, I hear that. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's something I need to look into is the, the merch store deal and stuff. It's just I want to come up with more, uh, I guess, original stuff to actually just have for that merch stuff, like shirt designs and whatnot. I just haven't been able to sit down and do that stuff yet. Uh, 
what you talk about stream deck and that's something for me like i'm gonna look at doing very soon is getting like the stream deck and i may go ahead and give in and get a gopro camera uh four warnings yeah four warning on the gopros i've seen it happen with Fajas. if it's not if it's been used for too long like if it's just been left on it will 100 percent freeze up yes you, you have to make sure you, you have to make sure you turn it off after you use it and don't turn it on until you like right before yeah. you're going to use it because they, they get really the hot if you just leave plug and, in. yeah and then you got to make sure you take the battery out because that's one reason we get really hot yeah yeah because uh i was about to give in and pull the trigger on it the other day but i wasn't sure if i wanted to get the uh, hero 9 or hero 8 or that 361 and stuff but i think i'm gonna go with the hero 9 and stuff uh just to go ahead and get like the quote better one and um because I'm probably going to make that as my normal video camera for everyday use to and yeah. stuff, not just for streaming. But uh, but yeah, so I'm going to look at getting that because the setup I got now is, of course, I use my phone as my webcam, and it used to be perfectly fine and work great, but then I don't know what updated on the app or maybe my PC or something, but now it just it does not work unless I have iTunes opened which is the fucking stupidest Weird. thing. Yes. And <laughs> it literally says it in the app. It's like, make sure iTunes is open. I'm like, why does that matter? And yeah. so iTunes has to be open for it to even register my camera now. And then like a few days back when I was streaming, I, I couldn't even stream my webcam. I had to put my little buddy Jesus emote up because uh, it wouldn't read my camera. I had iTunes open and stuff and did all that. It's odd. It wouldn't work. So like today before we started the podcast, I had to reset my computer just so it would actually work the webcam and stuff. So I mean, if you're not necessarily looking for like a um uh like an IRL camera as well, I will 100% vouch for the Logitech Brio. That's what I'm rocking. It is nice. Yeah, I have the uh AT or whatever, not AT, Jesus Christ, I'm thinking about microphone. The C922? Uh, yes, that, that is what I got. It's a good yeah. webcam, but I I'm, I'm definitely want a more better quality if I can. That's why I'm using my phone, because it's it's a fucking iPhone, so <laughs> it's got a good yeah. camera. Um, so but they, yeah, so I'm thinking about doing the, the GoPro and stuff. Cool thing about the GoPro is you can change, like, the camera angle and all that, so, like, I can... I can mine's on narrow or whatever right now i can change it to where you can see my entire room yeah, yeah. which is really yeah. cool yeah because i think my setup eventually what i'm gonna do too is i probably won't have my green screen like once i get like my room situated and stuff the way i wanted it so that way you guys it, like chat could see like my room basically yeah. and all that kind of like what you got there um saying and stuff so yeah i'm gonna have like decorations and like my statues and shit like that around um but it'll be a little bit for that happens but but i also still want to i think use the green screen maybe for certain games i don't know um yeah i'm I, thinking that's kind of my where layout. i'm at like i'm thinking about just changing my layout in general on my stream and stuff uh i actually was talking with Faja about it uh the other day is i'm thinking which I'll know more later on, but like probably towards the end of the year, beginning of next year, I'm probably going to like remap my, uh, my look and stuff like get a new logo and things like that. And just, you know, have a fresh yeah. look basically. That's what I'm thinking at least. And there he goes again. <laughs> I don't know why he's having such a bad connection. Um, Who knows, but but yeah, so that's what I'm thinking about doing is just um, know, just kind of like redo up. my logo and and a few other things like that, like stream setup. I might do because like right now my webcam, of course, I do the green screen deal and I'm in the corner. But I'm thinking about actually having like a box, yeah, in the corner, and then like shrink down the gameplay a little bit, and then have like the other dead space, so to speak, like have it with stuff, maybe like for the alerts and whatnot and stuff like that, but. That stuff I'll work out a little bit more later on as well. So, well, guys, uh, is there anything? I'll wait for him to get back in. <laughs> <laughs> he got in, got out real quick. Um, all right, there he is. So, uh, so we'll go ahead and wrap it up here. Is there anything else you guys want to add or anything before we hop out of here? 
Uh, I think we've pretty much hit everything yeah. nail on the head. Um, I may be reaching out to Saiyan regarding some of this YouTube stuff to try okay. that out. So that may be something that we uh, look look forward to. We'll see. Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, okay, well, quick uh, recap. So right now, the Midcar Mafia gaming challenge is right now. We're going to shoot for October 1st that friday we're gonna do golf with friends the title will be on the line it'll be uh sinful saiyan fluffy and myself challenging for the belt uh and then i guess the next podcast episode will probably shoot for let me double check the date on this the 10th that second sunday it's probably what we'll shoot for um day after my birthday um <laughs> So we'll we'll shoot for that, and I don't know if we'll try to do that one live yet, or if we're gonna try to maybe do the studio deal. We'll just kind of play it by ear and see. Because um, I mean, I'm, I'm liking this setup we're doing. Honestly, it's, yeah, it's working pretty well and stuff. Um, especially if you know we're kind of short on time or something too, it makes it easier than having to all do a bunch be at one things. location and whatnot. Yeah. But uh, doing it live would be kind of fun, though, so that way we could do like a QA and a with a chat or something like that if we need to. Um, all right, but that's pretty much the plan right now. Uh, we'll shoot for the 10th on the next podcast episode, and we'll let you know, chat and stuff, if uh, if it'll be live or whatnot, or people watching. Uh, You've been naughty. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get one more in, didn't you? Uh, so yeah, so be sure to check us out on... Uh, twitch uh there's our handles there and stuff uh, of course saying so he'll be on youtube gaming uh which is that same handle right the jujitsu saying yeah you don't get a custom link until you're like sponsored but if okay. you just search jujitsu saying it'll take you to it i'm okay. the only one <laughs> <laughs> yep and then of course uh we're on twitch and stuff so or sorry uh twitter's what i'm gonna say there twitter and stuff uh, which sinfuls is envy sinful <laughs> he's got it backwards on there um uh, so that way you guys get updates and stuff like that so uh until then everybody take care be safe and we will see you next time